Hello everyone and welcome to Quick Collections Garage. Today's video is going to cover Torquette products, which specifically is going to be geared around the 24X conversion kit for the LT1 power plant. There are three main things I'm going to cover here. There's going to be one, the unboxing experience, two, the overall first impression of quality and finish, and three, some of the benefits that you're going to get using this conversion kit for your LT1. Now this is for the traditional LT1 power plants, not the newer. Uh, LT1s that GM and Chevy have come out with as of recently. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. We're going to start with the unboxing. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. A lot of protection for the product. Instructions, that'll be helpful. More instructions, which you'll need. <laughs> More boxes. Oh wow. The shorty alternator kit, which I opted to buy. Oh, and the throttle body topper. And the tuner, uh, which I opted into to do for the power plant. Overall, for those of you that don't know, uh, this LT1 engine is actually in, is has been swapped into another vehicle, which is a 1995 um, 240SX with a Boss conversion. So let's let's keep unboxing and, and figure out where we where we stand from a quality and finish perspective. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to cover with you guys some of the add-ons that I decided to uh, add to this purchase through Torx Heads, or Torque Heads. One is the Shorty Alternator. What it does is it really shortens the depth here to allow you to fit um, pretty much any valve covers from the small block Chevys or older LT style uh, motors without it interfering with the actual alternator. It's a big problem for the LT1 power plants when you're looking at custom applications from a valve cover perspective, whether you want to run AN fittings or you just want to have a nicer uh, valve cover on your LT1. This was a little bit of an expensive purchase, but I think for uh, my build as I'm trying to elevate it, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, overall finish is good. Um, I think it's anodized. Um, looks pretty good. I also opted to go with the black finish just because I think it looks much cleaner in the engine bay and everything in the engine bay itself is gloss black or flat black for, uh, on my build so I think it'll fit the application really well. The second thing that was an add-on that I opted to do was the uh, throttle body plate that goes on the top of the actual LT1. This looks really really good. The overall finish is nice. It's got a nice engraving for torque head. Uh, also the 24X LT uh, conversion logo here. I think it looks really really good. I'm actually excited to put this on the throttle body. I did end up upgrading the throttle body to a 58 millimeter BBK. Um, so we'll see if this fits on that. Or if not, then I guess I spent 10 bucks for no reason. Now, let's get to the important stuff that I think is the, is the meat and bones of really this build and this conversion kit. So first of all, um, there's a pretty in-depth instructions manual here. Um, you know, if you're into reading, I would highly suggest it. Um, looks like it talks about the harness installation, location, the, the coil brackets, um, ignition modules, and everything like that. I think it's very, very helpful. So if, listen, if you're going to do the build right, follow through this instruction manual. I think it'll be very helpful. Also, what I do really like, and I'm just noticing now, is that it talks, talks about if you know, you're having issues, then check these specific things. So there's one that says car crank, but it does not start, and it gives you the cause of that, as well as what to do to fix that. And then if there's fuel injectors not firing in the right order as well, I mean, this is really, really helpful, actually. I'm actually, to be honest, really impressed. But on their site, I mean, there's, they, they talk about all the work that he, he's done, and um, the owner, Paul, has done to 
really make sure that this kit is a plug and play kit, guys. So from the first impressions, I can tell you overall, just with the instruction manuals and the finish of the products, this, this is gonna be a really, really good kit. So instruction manuals here, several pages, highly suggest that. Now you've got the actual wiring harness, um, loomed well, you know, electric taped, not the fanciest of loom and not the best job on the electric tape. Um, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Uh, what I do like is that he did label, um, he did label them. So PCM, um, crank sensor, they're all labeled, which is very going to be very, very helpful when one, you want to know the orientation of the wiring, as well as two, just understanding what goes where, what connects to uh, what sensor, adapter, ECU, or whatever it may be. So that's actually really nice, uh, really nicely done. I do wish the loom would have been a little bit more uh, higher end instead of just the traditional looms that you get. Um, and maybe there's an option for that and I missed it and I could have opted in. Still the, the wiring, the fact that it's labeled, huge plus, very helpful. Um, you don't have any questions around where things are actually supposed to go. The next thing is this coil bracket. I really, really like the coil bracket. They have two options. One is on the actual valve cover itself, and then the other one mounts above the intake manifold, and I'll put both of those pictures here. Um, but my concern was if I put the one on the valve cover, or sorry, the one on the intake manifold on and use that kit, that there would be a lot of uh, spark plug wires running everywhere. And I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to limit that. In my opinion, the valve cover setup what it actually will able you to do is run this to the spark plug in a shorter distance, which means less wires. And that's the route I went. I think that's the best choice. But the bracket on the intake manifold does look really, really nice. To be honest, the LT1 intake manifold's kind of ugly. So either way is, is a good choice. Uh, I wouldn't say one route is better than the other. But this is the route I went, and I'm really happy with the overall finish here. Um, I think quality looks really, really good. Um, the connectors look good. Again, loom is good. You know, not overly impressed with um, the electro taping and just overall, but it's still really, really good. And um, this product so far, especially with, oh my gosh, these added pieces where they put their brand right here, really, really strong, looks really nice. Um, I like that finish a lot. Now, Let's go to the ECU. So from an ECU perspective, obviously not a lot to look at. It's just an ECU. Um, it does look like it's probably been painted and refurbished. Um, just the finish of it is looks like brand new. Uh, what I do like is they added in this little piece here where um, it says this PCM can be bench tuned via uh, OBD2 LT1 cable. So that's nice. Um, and I mean, he's got his own stamps here through Torquehead. Well done. I mean, it is what it is. It's just an ECU, so not a lot to talk about there. What I did also opt in to do was the custom uh, base tune from uh, the Torquehead's website. It comes with an HP tuner. Um, I'm going to assume it's already preloaded in there. You know, I gave him the full specs of my build. I'm interested to see how this works. I'm sure. Um, We'll find out soon, but overall, you know, HP tuner, obviously very reputable and easy to go with the ECU. Now, another piece I did want to cover is on my LT1, uh, I don't currently have OBD2. And this kit itself also has the option to have an OBD2 port. Very helpful when you want to tune the car anything understanding diagnostics i mean obd2 is just the technology to have obd1 is old school um very inconvenient and so from an overall perspective i think this was a really good choice when you pair the new ecu with this hp tuner and the ability to have it to have obd2 i mean you can't go wrong with that what i really really like about this kit is also comes with um, hardware like water pump gaskets because you're gonna have to take the water pump out to get to the <laughs> to your Optus Spark, which is 
the worst thing you can have, but you're gonna need to replace these and it comes with it, so that's very, very helpful. Um, and it comes with a bunch of different accessories and hardware that I'm not gonna get into today, uh, because when we get into the installation phase is really when, when we're gonna start realizing uh, what connects with what, how all these hardware pieces work together, and um, obviously the instruction is gonna help me throughout the build too. You've got your hub here. This adapter will help you run this setup. Um, with you know just your traditional um, LT1 belt, your traditional LT1 setup. Again, what they're after is really making this as user friendly and as easy to install as if it was OEM. So, uh, I mean, I can't really complain a lot about this. It's just an adapter. Overall finish looks really good. Um, nothing negative I can say here about this. Now, as we get to the spark plug wires, um, you know, from a first impression standpoint, it looks like spark plug wires. It's good MSD uh, wires here, MSD 8.5 millimeter superconductors. I mean, it's it's good. I think overall, not bad. Um, I'm a little surprised that it's not already finished for you, um, especially since from the I mean, this connects from the Valkova brackets to the actual spark plug that space should be pretty universal. I understand some need for flexibility, whether it's different headers or whatever have you. Um, I feel like this could have been already kind of firmed up and finalized a little bit, but looks like there's a lot of instructions here. So if you've never done, um, if you've never created your own spark plug wires, uh, looks like pretty helpful information here, uh, information on how to do so. You know, if you've got some level of experience reading and <laughs> building and working on cars, I think you'll be totally fine. Um, more to come on that as we get to the installation phase. One thing that I really, really like is the overall finish of this uh, adapter plate that actually replaces your OptiSpark. This piece is really what makes everything come to life in the build. And on the back side, it's got the splines just like your OptiSpark would. Um, and it bolts right up. You've already got the sensors pre-connected here. Really good finish. I mean, this is high quality here. The main thing I wanted to cover with you guys was the unboxing experience and the overall quality of the product and finish of the product. And honestly, I can tell you from an unboxing experience, everything was well packaged. I wasn't really concerned about anything getting damaged. Um, the only thing is, you know, you'll, you'll get the HP tuner from a different company. You won't get it from Paul, so expect two different shipments. You probably won't get them on the same day. I'm doing it on a VA swapped car. Um, Paula was super helpful in helping me understand which kit I need to pick out specifically for my build application for this 240SX. From an overall reason as to why I picked this Torque Heads product and this conversion kit, and the main reason is the OptiSpark, right? OptiSparks have been known to cause multiple, multiple issues in LT1 applications, specifically when you're starting to get into the high horsepower range. And um, I just, I got sick and tired of it. I didn't want to deal with it. And second is now I have the ability to do custom tunes on my build. And now I'm converting to an OBD2, which is going to really, really help me unlock some tunability in the car. Um, and that's honestly what I'm most excited about. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you do me a favor, if you liked anything you saw here, hit that like button. If you wanna to subscribe to my builds, to the projects that we have coming forward, whether it's our S14 240SX with the Boss Body Kit, or it's our E46 M3, LS S2000, S2000 with an AP1 JDM motor, or any of the classics you want to see, like the O2, 69 Marrow, and everything else. Stay tuned, subscribe, let me know what you'd like to see, and we'll see you soon.